Welcome to Ecstatic Yoga. I am Grace. Welcome to Sun Salutation, Siri Namaskara. And our focus is going to be connecting with this inner being, this inner energy. And in yoga, they call it Pratyahara. It's one of the eight limbs of yoga, or Patanjali. And it's a very important practice to be very connected to not only everything that's going on out here in our world and all the stimulation of, of the uh, people and the places and the things that we need to do in the entertainment out here, but also how is the inner being doing? moment to moment so being really connected in a very loving and compassionate way to this inner aliveness that is really what we are we are this in here and we're experiencing this out here um, but it's the it's it's the inner experience that is what we are that divine awareness that animates through this physical body it's animated through possibly many, many physical bodies and many, many different experiences on, on different dimensions and realms. So that eternal part of us that is beyond just this physical body, but is very alive within us. And so bringing our attention to this very sacred and dear presence that is an extension of the divine source, extension of source creator, that awareness, that conscious awareness. So we're going to begin our practice. Let's begin with just a short standing grounding meditation, noticing the physical body and diving into the pratyahara, the inner energies, noticing maybe you can feel your heartbeat. If you've not spent time connecting with how you're feeling inside, it may be a new muscle and simply sensing into feeling that heartbeat can be one way to really connect with that inner being. A good way for beginners. Even I still dive right into my heart. And even noticing the emotion, emotional state, the emotional being. Beautiful. And creating that intention for yourself, a positive intention for you. And stating it as if it already is in this now moment. And feeling those emotions of having that beautiful intention. Feeling everything fully as if you have it now, how would you feel? And gently and kindly opening your eyes, coming back, setting that intention out to the universe with a this or better, this or better. And coming into your body, let's just shaking out the arms and the legs, coming into the physical body, honoring this physical body, shrugging the shoulders a little bit, just moving in the body. This is ecstatic yoga, sacred embodiment so that we can be fully empowered. Our infinite soul power can be fully empowered in this body. And some twisting. So we're grounded in the body. And we're empowered to enjoy life and take actions that lead us to our dreams and heart's desires. Beautiful. I'm going to do a little cross patterning, opposite hand to opposite knee, 
to get that right and left brain integrated. Let's bring the opposite hand to the opposite shoulder. And if you want to add in the knee, you can have the hand to the shoulder, opposite knee. Might take a minute if you haven't done this, but it's a really good way to integrate the right and left brain. Just a few times and you're integrated and you study better. You focus better and concentrate better and more present. Beautiful. And we're going to start our Suri Namaskar, our sun salutation. So I invite you to come up to the small edge of the mat. Feel those feet hip width apart. You can test that with those fists. And we set our foundation. So the first thing we set is the foundation in any pose. This is where our body is connected to the earth. That's all, hip width apart, both feet. So our foundation is set. And now we're gonna move into alignment. And I love to use the John Friends um, loops for this. So I like to lift the toes to feel a nice lift of the arch in that ankle loop. Engage those calves and the knees might bend just slightly. And then we're going to, that's, that's our shin loop. And we're going to move into thigh loop. So we're going to feel it starts below the knees and it comes up. So we're going to feel a lift of the knees, a lift of these quadriceps. They're going to be engaged. If you can relax the buttocks. Pelvic loop, we're going to bring that pelvis into neutral. I usually have to tuck the tailbone under a little bit to bring myself into neutral. Kidney loop, you're going to feel a lift of the ribs. Shoulder loops come all the way from kidney loop and comes between the lips. So you're going to feel that chin come parallel to the floor. And then the energy goes back. So you're going to feel the shoulders come back. Shoulder blades squeeze together a little bit. And then it drops down the back. So they're going to, shoulders are going to drop away from the ears. And then the skull loop right on your crown chakra, lifting up towards the heavens. Feeling all these loops engaged. This is a very active pose, mountain pose, engaged with the alignment of the loops. Inhaling those arms up into a nice extended mountain. Let's go into a little back bend. Bring the head in alignment with the spine. And then hinging forward. So we're going to take the hands if you're close in, out into angel wings, or you can have the hands on the hips. You just don't want to put those arms out in front of you to create pressure on this low back. Hinging forward. And once you get for that final hinge, allowing the spine to round and the head to fall. Bring in the thumbs next to the little toes. And if you need blocks, you can bring, you can hold on to your blocks here on either side of the feet. And we're just going to relax in four fold. Gently rocking the head if you like, very gently. That neck holds the weight of the head. And a lot of tension, so just letting it release. We're going to be using the bandhas through the practice, so engaging those bandhas and breathe in this nice forward fold. And connecting with that inner aliveness, that inner being, that pratyahara. Sending yourself some love, your inner self. On your next inhale, we're going to come up halfway. Your hands right under the knees on the shins, extending the spine out and the head out away from the body. Inhaling and exhaling back into your forward fold. And we're going to move into a high lunge. And we're going to take that back foot back. Feet are parallel. So they're like railroad tracks, parallel to each other. You can stay with the hands down onto the mat. Or if you'd like to challenge yourself, we're going to come up. So coming up to the knee, we're going to make sure that front knee is right over the ankle. This is our alignment. We set our foundation. Back leg, back. 
front leg parallel. Now we're moving into alignment. So bringing the body up and we're going to, this right leg is back, so I'm going to move this right hip forward just to square those hips and then bringing the arms up and engage the bondens. So we have the mula bonda, the pelvic floor is lifted up and engaged slightly. Rodhiana bonda, navel is engaged and lifted up. Jarandala bonda, the chin comes in and the tongue is on the roof of the mouth. Just a slight inward of the chin. And let's breathe into the belly. Connected to the inner being, the inner life. And one more deep breath, reaching those arms up. And exhaling your hands down, back down on the mat. And we're going to take that front leg back into downward facing dog. See if you can bring those heels down towards the floor. And we're going to take that tailbone up towards the sky. Thighs are coming back. Moving into our line with strong arms. You can spread those fingers together a little bit, feet are hip width apart. Let's engage those bondas and breathe. Staying deeply connected and intimate with the inner intelligence, that inner awareness. One more nice deep breath. Beautiful. And we're going to move into a plank or push up position. I like to bring the feet back a little bit. So I'm adjusting my foundation. They're still hip width apart. Arms are a little wider than shoulder. And I'm in my plank here. And we can drop the knees into a lower plank if you like. And we're going to come down into Chaturanga, nice and slowly bending those elbows and allowing the body to come down nice and slowly. Elbows are in towards the body. Once you're already down, we're going to go into a little baby cobra. So the first thing we're going to do is set the foundation. So pressing those hips and that pelvis into the earth. And allow the thighs and the shins and the back of the feet to rest on the earth. Elbows are in, hands are right below the shoulders. And we're going to inhale as we lift using the back muscles, not the hands, the head and the heart. Just a little bit, enough for a slight back bend using the back muscles. Very little weight on these hands. They're just stabilizing the body. And let's breathe, connecting with Pratyahara, the inner aliveness, inner energies. Beautiful job, and we're going to push ourselves back up into a table pose. We're going to move back into downward dog. We're going to have to curl those toes under, pressing in to the hands and feet and lifting the hips up back into my down dog. Here we are in down dog, lifting our tails up to the sky, heels coming down towards the mat, thighs coming back, resting that head between the arms, engage those bandhas, Breathe and bask in that inner nectar, that inner aliveness. Basking within with great love. One more breath here.
On your next inhale, lifting the head, lifting the heart, we're going to bring that right leg back up. You might take a few steps. You might even want to help that leg up. And we're going to move into a lunge on this side. So either you want to keep your hands down if you'd like, or if you want to come all the way up, you're going to come up to the thigh first. And then all the way up. Knee, front knee is over ankle. We just want to, if it's back a little, it's okay. Just you don't want it to go forward because it can put some strain on the knee. And then we're going to square those hips and bring those arms up, engage those bonds, and let's breathe in our forward fold. One more nice deep breath. Inhaling, reaching the hands a little higher towards the sky. And exhaling the hands down, bringing that front leg up into a nice forward fold, relaxing the head down. Again, hands next to the feet and very gently relaxing the head, shaking it out a little bit gently. Pop that out of the way. And let's inhale into a half forward fold. Bring the hands just below the knees on the shin. Extending that spine and that head away from the body. And then exhaling back down into forward fold. I would like to bring the hands behind the back. Or Grabbing the elbows, breathing into the belly. And on your next inhale, we're going to lift the head and lift the heart all the way up into your forward fold. Nice extended forward fold, coming into a back bend, moving forward. Let's do a little side to side stretch. And we're going to move into a Siri Namaskara C one more time. And we're going to add some variations. So, this is our first variation. We're here in Mountain, and we're doing a little side to side opening of the side body. It's nice to move that spine laterally, which we're doing now. Also flexion and extension. And let's inhale into a little back bend as you move the spine into extension. And exhale into our forward fold as we move the spine into flexion. Facing the head. If you'd like to grab the elbows, you can bring the hands behind the calves and pull the body in and breathe. On your next inhale, coming up to our half forward fold, really nice. Extension of that spine, it extends away from the core body and the pelvis. Exhale back down into our core fold for just a breath here. On your next inhale, lifting the head and the heart, and we're going to take that right leg back behind us and we're going to drop the knee. We're in a nice low lunge here, and we're going to move into some lunge rocks. So let's first lunge forward. Now, as you lunge forward, you can feel a nice opening of this right hip. You can move back and forth a little bit. What's good for you? Back to center, and we're going to lunge back as you straighten this front leg, the left leg. You can flex and extend that foot, keeping the breath flowing. You can 
connected to that inner being. And I invite you to move at your own pace, find your own flow, and become deeply connected with the inner aliveness, the inner intelligence. Feeling that heart beating, feeling the pulsations, the energies moving, whatever it is you feel. Keeping the breath flowing. Enjoying basking in your own inner nectars. Deeply, intimately connected with your own, own being. And coming back to center, I'm going to bring the left leg back into a table for just a moment as we prepare to move into down dog. So curl those toes under, push into the hands, lift the pelvis and the hips up into your downward facing dog. Remember the tailbone is sticking up, heels are coming down and thighs back. And then moving into your walking the dog, bending one knee forward a little as the opposite heel presses down towards the earth. And moving to the other side, opposite heel comes down towards the earth, opposite knee bends in. Moving at your own pace into walking the dog. Fully present to sensation, fully connected with the self, the inner being, breathing in the belly. And coming back to center, we're going to swivel into our plank. I like to adjust the foundation, bring my feet back just a little. And here we are. Wrists are under the shoulders, feet are hip width apart. And I invite you to do a few push ups if you like. And you can come down to your knees and do some push ups. You're just strengthening those arms, feeling your own strength. And when you're ready, just coming down to the floor. It might be one push-up, but maybe none. And resting your head to one side or the other. And taking this moment to really connect to the earth. This amazing planet. that sustains your physical life. Every cell in your body has come from this planet. The food we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, our clothing, our cars, our homes, all come from the planet. And sending the earth gratitude for sustaining your physical life. You can have this experience of living in a physical body, yet knowing your identity as infinite spirit, infinite soul power, having a temporary physical experience.
And coming back to center, let's bring the head the other direction for a minute just to balance ourselves off and dive into inner sensations. See and check in with the inner being. Noticing the pratyahara, the inner energy, the alive that's flowing through the inner being. And coming back to center, and we're going to move into an airplane bird. So bringing the arms out about 30 degrees, press that pelvis into the earth as we set the foundation, the part of our body connected to the earth, and inhale, lifting the legs and the arms, using the strong back muscles, and breathe. Engage those bonders. One more breath, lifting up. And exhale, coming down. Beautiful job. And let's move into a child's pose for just a moment. Before we continue opening the knees and taking a moment to really dive within. See how intimate and connected you can be with the inner being. And open the knees to rest the belly between the knees. The arms can be outstretched or alongside you. Remember to connect to your inner being with great love and compassion and kindness. And coming back up into a table, and set up for our down dog again. We're going to curl those toes under, pushing into the hands and the feet, and lifting those hips and the pelvis up again. Here we are in our down dog, heels coming towards the floor, tail sticking up, thighs coming back, head relaxing between the knees. Taking a breath or two here. Feeling this pose, feeling the sensations. And we're going to move into three-legged dog as we take that right leg and kick it out behind us. Three-legged dog. Take a breath here and feel this. Breathing into the belly. To move into a little hip opener. This is an invitation. Bend the knee and open up to the right side. Both hands firmly planted on the earth. Fingers stretched out, feeling a nice hip over the right hip. And breathe. One more breath. And releasing that leg down. And we're going to go to the other side. So kicking that left leg out behind you into a three-legged dog on this side, the left side. Taking a breath here. And let's bend that left knee and open up to the left side. A little hip opener on the left. And breathe. Both arms strong. One more breath. And releasing that leg down. Beautiful job. One more breath in your down dog. And 
on the next inhale, lifting the head, lifting the heart, and bringing that right leg up between the hands. You may want to take a few steps and use your hand to help you bring the foot up. We're going to drop the back knee, and we're going to lunge forward. Feeling a nice opening on that left hip again. And then adding any little movements you may want to add. Increasing the sensation and allowing yourself to really enjoy being in your body and noticing the sensation. You're supposed to enjoy this physical experience. Enjoying the soul embodied in form. And then we're going to lunge back as we straighten that right leg. We can flex and extend the right leg for some more wonderful sensations. Subtle movements that feel good. And beginning to flow at your own pace, your own rhythm, into your lunge rocks. Keeping the breath flowing into the belly and keeping yourself really deeply connected to the pratyahara, the inner aliveness. And coming back to center, we're going to curl the back toes under, lift that back leg up, and walk, step, or jump that left leg into a forward fold. Inhale into that forward fold. Exhale into forward fold. Taking a couple breaths here, you can bring the hands behind the calves or grab your elbows, or bring the hands behind your back. And engaging the bandhas, connecting with the inner being. Your next inhale, coming all the way up. We're going to do one more sun salutation to breath. So it's going to move a little bit faster, but you've done it a couple times, so I know you can do it. So we're going to inhale those arms up into a nice, beautiful extended mount. You can go into a little back bend if you like. Exhale, hinging forward into a forward fold. Nice deep, long breaths. Inhale into half forward fold. Exhaling into forward fold. Inhale into lunge. You can stay low or go high. Exhaling into down dog. Inhale into up dog. And exhale into down dog. Inhale, right leg up into lunge, either low or high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. 
and inhale, lifting the head, lifting the heart, and all the way back up into your mountain. Let's bring the hands in front of your heart for Anjali Mudra. Taking a moment to close your eyes and dive within. Noticing the inner sensations, the inner life. energy of the sun salutation created within you. Beautiful. And we're going to clasp the hands behind us and move into a standing yoga mudra. As we hinge forward, bringing the hands up and the head drops down. And we notice the heart is the highest organ, so we're honoring our heart. Taking a few breaths, connected to the sensations and connected deeply to your own heart. Inhale, reaching the hands up. Hands, exhale, releasing the hands, coming down to the mat. And we're going to come all the way down. It's going to do a couple four and move into Savasana. Let's grab those knees and rock back and forth. Bring those legs up, doing a nice inversion, vacation for the veins. We'd like to move into half forward fold, lifting those hips up, grabbing pelvis here, and feet are right above the head. I'd like to bring one foot at a time down to the floor. And then let's hinge those legs over. I like to come about parallel to the floor rather than having the toes touch the floor, just to protect this lower back. And let's curl those knees in. Bring the hands to the mat and slowly rolling down. Beautiful, let's hug those knees in again. Rocking back and forth, releasing and relaxing the lower back. Take that left leg out straight, right knee is up. We can come onto the left side and bring the right knee over to the left, left hand guiding the right knee over for a nice spinal twist and reaching the right arm out 90 degrees and turning the head to gaze out over the right fingertips. And basking in this nice deep twist. Basking in sensations, staying connected to the inner aliveness and breathe. And releasing that right leg, coming back 
to center flat on your back and you can switch legs, stretching out the right leg, coming up onto that right side an inch, bending the left knee and coming over. Reaching that left arm out, gazing out over those left fingertips and diving in. Noticing all the sensations within your body. Being deeply with yourself. One more breath. Releasing that knee, coming up to center. And let's bring those knees into the chest, rocking back and forth a little bit. And moving into our supine butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana, bringing the soles of the feet together, wrapping the hands around the outside edges of the feet and let's gently pull the feet into the body and the little hip opener both sides engaging those bondas and breathe and into the belly Beautiful. Let's bring those feet up so that the soles of the feet are facing the sky, knees are out wide, and gently pulling the feet in towards the earth, towards the armpits. And a nice hip opener on both sides for our baby pose. Breathing into the belly. Beautiful, releasing that, relaxing, and just rolling around in Ananda Balasana, a happy baby, kicking and just doing what feels good, having fun. Move into our releases, both feet on the mat, knees are up. And we're going to move into Pula. So finding those hips, and we're going to be swiveling the hips. Nothing's going to lift up off the earth. I'm feeling my right hip reaching down towards my right heel as my left hip is reaching up towards the left armpit. And I'm going to swivel those hips, lifting. The right hip up towards the right arm hits and the left hip reaching down towards the left heel. Everything's, nothing lifts off the earth. We're just swiveling those hips. Finding your pace. Basking in sensation. Breathing into the belly and enjoy. Coming back to center, we're going to move into hip pointers. So I'm going to ground that right hip and right buttocks into the earth as I point that left hip up towards the sky. Left buttocks lifts up, points up diagonally towards the sky. I'm going to bring the left buttocks and hip down, move that into the earth as I lift the right hip, point that up towards the sky. And moving back and forth at your own pace. Lifting one hip at a time, pointing it up towards the sky. 
hip pointers. Breathing into the belly. Enjoying the sensations. Fully present to the south. Coming back to center. We're going to move into cat cow on the mat. Flexion and extension. Move into cat first as you feel the small of the back press into the mat, tucking the tailbone under. Flexion of the spine. And as we move into our cow, we're going to arch that spine, that lumbar spine, that lower, low back up off the earth. And the back may still be touching the earth, or you may be able to bring your hands underneath. The spine is lifting up off the earth. Back and forth in cat cow, keeping the breath flowing, finding your pace, noticing and basking in the nectar of all the beautiful sensations. And coming back to center. And we're going to keep the knees up as we bring the feet a little further apart. They come out to the wide edges of the mat. And we're going to drop one knee at a time into the center. And find your edge here. Never forcing, but allowing yourself to sit on that edge. Finding your own pace. Breathing into the belly. Bringing the attention inward. And coming back to center, knees back up. We're going to walk those feet back to hip width apart. We're going to move into double knee drops, so dropping both knees over to one side. You can lift that top knee up and bring it over to the other side, allowing the bottom knee to follow. Breathing into the belly. We prefer to just windshield wiper both legs, both knees together. Fully present to the inner aliveness, the inner sensation. Your own heart. One more time. And coming back up to center. 
Let's bring those knees into the chest one last time. Rolling back and forth. And getting into our Savasana position. So if you like a little blanket, if you like something under your knees or an eye pillow, just gonna relax the legs out straight. Bring the legs out a little wider, feet flopping outward. Arms a little outside the body with the palms up, just a receptive pose as we allow all the energies of this practice to integrate mind, body, and spirit into our being. Letting everything go, inviting all the muscles to relax and release and let go. All the systems in our body to release the nervous system to rest and relaxation response. Feeling the body heavier, pulling towards the earth. To let everything go for a few moments of silence, silent stillness. A nice deep breath into the belly. As you gently and kindly begin to come back. Yeah. Wiggling the fingers and the toes and stretching the body out. Really enjoying a stretch. And coming over to one side or the other. Taking a nice breath on your side, noticing all the shifts and changes within you, fluids and organs. And gently coming up to a seated position. And taking this moment to bring yourself back, scanning the inner being, diving into Pratyahara, noticing where you're at. So your physical body, inner aliveness of Pratyahara, and the emotional being, a of my emotion, all three koshas. Anamaya, Pranamaya, and Manamaya.
And taking this moment to bring yourself back to that intention that you set. Stating it and then seeing it, seeing you in that scene with your intention, fully manifested, and feeling the emotion. I'll give you a few breaths to really bring the emotions up and feel it full. Taking a deep breath, releasing that intention to the universe with the this or better, this or better, this or better. If I have a chant inside, a spontaneous chant. Oni mata ke asihi a kone yamate une yama kone aya kone aya mate kone yama kone mate a kone yamate kone kone a kone mate yama. I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, light, truth, and peace. When I am in that place in me, and you are in that place in you, we are one. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for Ecstatic Yoga, Siri Namaskara C. Wishing you a beautiful, Last day.